my definition of helpful would be being there for others without wanting anything back. Helpful people are like people you see every day that are there for you, but they don't ask for anything in return. They'll always be there for you no matter what time of the day it is. Peter is from my mom's side. Uh, he is my mom's sister's kid. So that basically means my first cousin. He's definitely in the spectrum of being autistic. He just doesn't communicate with people he doesn't know for a very long time. He came to the Americas, I would say, roughly around five to six years ago. So we figured we'll help him like maybe land a job out here in like a departmental store, or maybe he'll get some more social interaction. They were trying to find a way to find a job that can help him be more independent in life. Especially being autistic and being on the spectrum, it's definitely hard finding a job out there. As for like landing this job, we basically talked to the owner and he was very open to the idea. We gave him a couple of projects before we said, okay, you can join the team. And he did a really great job. And then we told him to face the aisles, going by item by item. And since the day one, he's doing a great job with that. He's got excellent recall. He's got excellent knowledge of the store because he does a lot of facing the store off. So, he, you know, he's just very good knowing the product, where it belongs. Peter is perfectionist. He takes time to learn something very slowly, very patiently, and then by the time he's learned it fully, he knows it by heart. And for him, it's like just getting a routine down is, is the perfect thing for him. Is that once you ingrain a routine, he'll, he'll know it like forever. Having Peter around in this store has been a drastic change in the culture and the environment that we have here. He's interacting a lot more than he did before. He's just wonderful. He did build his self-confidence working here and knowing that he can do a lot better, more in his life. He's definitely grown ever since he came yeah. here. He's like my son, period. My, he's like my, my son to me. I love him. He knows I do. You tell me that every day. You get very emotional about Peter. You get emotional. Yeah, about him. yeah, because I feel for him. Bob, even that his day off, he calls and asks somebody that how's Peter doing? Is he okay? Yeah, don't give him too much work. <laughs> and so we did something good, getting him in this store and helping him to grow the way we. He wanted to go and stand with me or you or somebody and say, I'm something.